There's no doubt about it. They are cute for Easter, but bunnies require a big commitment. And that's why many of them don't survive after they're given as gifts on Easter Day. Kristen Keo spent the day at a rabbit rescue in Scottsdale, and she joins us live now. Guys, it was such a great assignment, too. Bunnies are actually great pets in many cases. They can roam free in the house. They're litter box trained, and of course, they're very cute. But like all pets, they require a lot of care, and that's why when they're given as gifts, they often end up not surviving. Each of these sweet faces comes with a story. She was abandoned in the middle of the night in a shoebox. This is Maya and Parker, and they were actually being kept outside in a cage in the middle of summer when they were just babies. Kelly Ames is the executive director at Tranquility Trail, one of three rabbit rescues in Arizona. Volunteers for the nonprofit care for more than 70 rabbits here. They expect to get many calls after Easter Sunday. A lot of them are dumped outside where they can't survive. These guys are domestic bunnies or they end up in the shelter system. Uh, we get over 100 calls every single month from people who don't want their bunnies because they just haven't done their research. Come on, guys. Ames hopes more families will choose to give stuffed toy and chocolate bunnies if they don't plan to care for a real one for their lifespan of 10 to 12 years. They make wonderful pets, but they're not the right choice for everybody. If you'd like a companion, but you're not ready for the commitment, you can actually come into Tranquility Trail any day of the week. You can play with the bunnies and help them get used to people. They get more relaxed and sometimes they fall asleep when I'm petting. Volunteer bunny hugger Primula Neville has been cuddling these cuties for four and a half years. I think it's very satisfying to come in and, and spend time with them because they're so appreciative of it. And Tranquility Trail is open on Easter even, so you can go meet the bunnies for free. They're going to be open on Sunday from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. And we have more information on myfoxphoenix.com. But you guys, how do you like that idea? You just go you in, in there, pet, yeah. pet the bunny. You I like have that. To yeah. But if, if you really connected with one, would they adopt it Yes, out? you okay. can adopt one for $65, or they always hope to give them in pairs because bunnies like to have companions. Yeah. You can get two for $95. Yeah. But really think about it before. Don't just exactly. do it as an Easter surprise and then. Mm -hmm. And some of them are big, so they they're, eat yeah, a lot. Some of them are like this they're, big. Yeah, they're exactly. so sweet, and though. They just want to be loved. And just kind of you mm -hmm. can play with them. And yeah, and okay. they hop around. They like to have little shoe toys. They had a brothers there named Peyton and Eli Manning that had little football toys. <laughs> wow, and they like were the big, family too. Dog. They were the biggest bunnies. They I were bigger they were. than cats. All right. Okay, thanks, Thank you. Kristen. You got Kristen. it. Happy Easter.